<laughs> hey guys, this video will be about the new warm up. Just a short disclaimer if you hear any background noise or uh, anything else, I shot this video at home, not in the studio. So um, you're gonna hear the washing machine maybe, or maybe hear my dog do stuff. I apologize for that. Let's get to the warm up. I'm not a great wrestler. So when my students asked me how they get to fight to the ground, um, I came up with a couple of submissions because I'm all about submissions. Why fight long if you can finish the fight quickly, right? That's the way I think anyways. That's why I came up with these uh, techniques. One is a gliding armbar. That's what I heard it being referred to in a YouTube video. Um, the next one is a standing baseball bat choke. I put that together from uh, competition footage that I saw. Then we have a snap down guillotine. Um, the snap down I learned from my uh, wrestling coach Matt a long time ago. And the guillotine, I picked Marcelo Garcia's technique because he's one of the wizards with that technique. Um, then we have a standing ninja roll to back mount, which is pretty awesome too. Really easy and looks really cool. And then we have, what I call it jumping butterfly guard, where you jump in and sit down and sweep the leg over and get the ankle lock. As, as I said, I did this because I'm not a great wrestler and I can't expect my students to be because I'm, t I'm the one who's teaching them. I want them to get better at wrestling though because I'm getting better at wrestling, I'm training hard, I'm drilling double leg takedowns a hundred times in practice sometimes. Um, so my goal is to be a better wrestler but until then I can only teach them what I know and these are the things that I know. Next I want to talk to you about gi versus no gi in Jiu Jitsu. I've had many heated discussions with uh, people about this one coach. Um, screamed at me once because my gi game was really bad but I had only trained no gi six months, uh, for the six months before that. Before that we trained together in the gi but then he left China so I had to train with another coach. I had many 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 coaches and that one only taught no gi. And then when I went to Brazil and I trained with my, with my coach he got angry at me because my gi game sucked. He said it's the same thing. I disagree. Um, I also talked to another friend was also black belt, he um, said on the other hand that they are completely different and unless you train both at the same intensity, at the same amount, uh, same amount of time, there will always be a different be difference because in the gi you have a lot of grips and submissions that you don't have in no gi. Another thing I want to talk to you about is I've recently seen a video, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu video on Facebook. And these people were complaining that Nogi Jiu Jitsu isn't real Jiu Jitsu and that Elio Gracie apparently said that Jiu Jitsu is only in the Gi. But for self defense aspects, you don't always have the Gi. So people started training no Gi as well, also for MMA and all the other sports. But some of these people commented, oh, this is not real Jiu Jitsu, real Jiu Jitsu is the Gracie Jiu Jitsu and whatever and whatever. I think there should be a distinction. Gracie Jiu Jitsu and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu aren't necessarily the same thing. The Gracies have their own style but there's many other teachers too. Some Brazilian, some American that have a different style. And that style is neither worse nor better, it's just different. And part of that style is no gi grappling. Um, a lot of these, these guys said that today's no gi grapplers are doing luta livre, whatever while others commented that if you ask the high level guys like Ander Galval, Keenan Cornelius, Gary Tone and Eddie Wolverine Cummings uh, when they compete in no gi if they're doing jiu jitsu or not they will most likely tell you that they are doing jiu jitsu and they are jiu jitsu black belts some of them have never put on the gi and some of them have then there's the controversial, controversial topic of Eddie Bravo a lot of people are hating on him because he completely got rid of the gi in his system. Why did he get rid of the gi? Because he wanted to make Jiu Jitsu as applicable to MMA as possible and in MMA you're just not wearing the gi anymore. So why would you waste your time with the gi chokes and 
passes that only work with the gi and get your body used to friction that isn't there. That's the main difference between the gi and no gi. The techniques and the friction. There's a lot of no gi techniques that will work in the gi but some won't because there's too much friction. And then there's some gi techniques that will work because you have the friction which slows everything down which might otherwise not work because they're easily defended against in uh, no gi because you can just pull out the arm. So that's my take on the di main difference between gi and no gi jiu jitsu. In my opinion, both are awesome, but I prefer no gi because I've only worked at MMA gyms. I do train in the gi, I teach most of my classes in the gi, but I prefer training no gi because it's more applicable to the real world and to cage fighting. Um, I would love to hear your comments on this in the comment section. Um, write me, follow me, whatever. Um, follow me on Instagram, like our page on Facebook, or come visit me if you're ever in Vienna, come visit me at the gym. Um, we can roll together and uh, yeah, I'd love to uh, meet some of you guys. Thank you. Here we tie up. I put my whole weight on his arm and his neck just to make sure that he doesn't back out. I fake with my left foot and hook my foot underneath his armpit as I sit down. It's really important to note that I want to keep my knee between my opponent's body and his. I turn towards his leg and then sit up and finish the arm bar. BJJ from GJJ, like who hurt gave birth to which a DJ plays. But despite the lineage, I will never be closed minded. Refuse to see beyond the lines, you go blind. Rocket travels the 10th planet, I flow free. I'm welcome on many. For this move, we start in a tight clinch. My right hand moves to the bottom as I, as I do a monkey grip, and my right elbow moves parallel to the shoulders. As I roll him over my body, when we land, I fix my, uh, my elbow to be parallel to his shoulders and put all my weight towards his legs. Here with my left hand, I grab his neck and I jump back at the same time. My hand moves in front of his head. I push his hand towards his cheek and then push my elbow up on his shoulder as I finish the choke. Here as we tie up, it's important to note that only my lower leg hooks, then I push him away into a forward roll. Here we tie up again, I jump between my opponent's legs, drop down and grab his leg as I swing my leg on top of him. I secure the right grip for the ankle lock, push my elbow towards my ribs and arch back. Hi guys, I'm back. I want to talk to you about last month's monthly challenge. Gonna be very honest with you, I have uh, had a knee injury for two or three weeks, so I didn't really get to train much. And so I figured I'd add another month to the challenge because I needed to improve my guillotines. They haven't gotten better enough, um, in my opinion. So I added another month. I um, One of the main things learned is that if I'm determined to get the guillotine, eventually I will. Um, I did a couple uh, setups like uh, getting it from back mount or um, getting it from the bottom side control but my main go-to move was getting to knee on belly as soon as they lift up their head I either move to mount or half guard to um, to finish the, uh, the choke the bottom side control one I'm gonna be very honest that was the only good footage I got of it um, this is a technique that I drilled with my students and so they knew it was coming, so most of the time they defended against it. 
in that video that I'm going to show, uh, show you, I didn't quite get it, but it was close enough and it was the only good shot I got of it, so I put it in the video anyways. Um, I did get better a lot at my guillotines. One month of only doing guillotines does a lot for your uh, technique and I'm really happy about that. Um, we did a short video pulling a uh, technique out of a hat um, for next month's monthly challenge, but instead of recording a video, we just uh, took pictures. So the next technique will be a wrist lock. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'm gonna put it in, um, uh, maybe I'm gonna do it, finish the omoplata from there, or I'm gonna finish the Americana from there. Um, or I'm gonna use it to set up an R bar because I uh, read a artic an article on um, Jiu Jitsu Times about a guy who uses um, wrist locks to set up arm bars. So I have no idea what I'll do with it yet, but all I know is it will get my wrist locks better and I will have a deeper understanding of it next month. I'm also, I'm not 100% sure that I will be able to do, but I want to put out another video um, at the halftime mark where I discuss the techniques or I show you the techniques that I did for the month before for my monthly challenge, my main setups. And then at the end of the month, I do another big video um, with the warm up, with uh, videos from the monthly challenge, stuff like that. Um, my opinions on things, stuff, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Please um, like my page on, Inst on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube, leave comments. Um, one more short disclaimer. Most of these uh, videos were taken after an hour and a half, sometimes for me three hours of training beforehand. And so I got a little bit tired and so were my students. So if everything is not up to 100% top speed, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I think I got some pretty good video footage anyways. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, follow, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Thank you uh, and enjoy. Here I'm trying to pass the guard, but he won't let me. So as soon as I'm almost out, I realized that I could go for a double under to back take, which is what I will do in one second. Here I'm getting the double under, getting the back. This was the first time I ever attacked the guillotine from the back, so I was really methodical. I reached around first before I let go of my legs. And as soon as he turns into me, I sink in the choke. Here I'm trying to do something that I saw on a Jean-Jacques Machado Instagram. I push the bicep up and try to push my foot through the armpit. And then I grab the arm here, he knows it's too, it's too late. I get the back. Now my only difficulty is to roll him back into turtle because from here it's hard to attack a guillotine, but once we're in turtle, I can get it. The only problem here is that I didn't plan it out so well, so I reached while I was turning. I didn't have everything secured before I was doing it. For this one, a little side note, I didn't actually pull off the submission. I didn't finish it, but this is one of the setups that I played with, and that's the only good shot that I got of it. So, here I can't pull off the guillotine from half guard. So, as soon as he passes, or he's trying to get out, I move to side control. From there, I just move to mount. And once I'm in mount, I sink in the choke. Here I'm 
Here I move to the side, try to get my hands free, once I get the knee on belly and he sits up, I swing my leg, my hand around his neck, sink in the choke and finish it. Same here, I get knee on belly, as soon as he sits up, and puts his head off the mat, lifts his head off the mat. My hand moves around the neck, I move to mount, and I get my guillotine. This is the same thing again. As soon as my knee, I got the knee and belly, and the head is up. My hand, and my hand reaches around the neck, and I get the guillotine. Here I focus more on the choke than the leg position because I've been tapped from. Uh, from uh, many different uh, positions with the guillotine where I thought it wasn't possible. So I'm just focusing on the, on the squeeze rather than the transition. Veterano, old family first fam Taught the world to swing that double-edged sword It works fam BJJ from GJJ Like cool hurt gave birth to what your DJ plays But despite the lineage I will never be closed-minded Refuse to see beyond the lines You go blind Rocket travels the 10th planet I flow free I'm welcome on mini mats Gee to no gee Though my branch traces roots to the original tree Roots sprouted from the original seed Water with blood, sweat and tears Spotlight with sunlight that tree became a forest by like Tudor done right. Then voice dominated them. 